Hi guys, my name is Gunnar Gemskull and welcome to a tour of some of the new Architect homes that have been released into Sims Freeplay. These are the Architect homes that were released round about the 28th of April 2016. We have already taken a look at the Simoleon houses and if you want to have a look at those I will link the video down below and on the screen now but in this video we're going to take a look at the LP and the SP houses. So all in all there are three SP houses and three LP houses but at the moment we can't see all of them because I am on a standard size lot. I'm doing this because I wanted to show you that if you build a standard size house on a premium lot it is going to cost you more LP or more SP and really there's no need to build it on a premium lot unless you want to expand it by you know making a garden or building a pool with it or something these four houses here are standard size lot houses and so you are best to build them on a standard size lot as opposed to a premium lot with that in mind let's take a look at the houses so the first one costs 50 lps and i've got to say i have briefly taken a look at a few of these and i am not as impressed with the lp and the sp houses as i am with the simoleon houses i do think that the simoleon houses are really good and really worth the money although they're very expensive like millions of pounds expensive for me to buy they're definitely worth it in terms of some of the items you get but this is the first house that's 50 lp the standard size it's a bungalow and there is not particularly anything in this house because i think we all kind of use these architect homes now for getting limited time prizes and things that we've missed out on within the game and there is nothing really within this house that kind of screams out to me and says, oh yes, this is something that people might not have, or, you know, it costs LP or SP or whatever. But it's a it's a quite a nice little bungalow. In fact, thinking about it now, it is a redesign of the, what's it called? The hallway house, isn't it? Ah, I've only just realised that, yeah. It's a redesign of the hallway house that we can already buy within the game. So that's the first house. The second house is another standard size. This costs 85 LPs to buy. This has got a basement and it's a bungalow but it's got a basement and it's got a snazzy little lift over here this is quite pretty i like all the flowers around it has got one of these retro tvs which loads of these houses loads of these new architect homes have got and i just love that retro tv i think it is so adorable it's got the parrot which i like too what else has it got anything else Are these sp i think this is sp green bathroom stuff um, green bed, which is NSP bed, and it's got some of these stools that you might not have got. These were featured a few weeks ago, maybe, and you may not have bought them or whatever. But you can now get three of the turquoise stools within this house. Oh, it's also got the Latin villa table and chairs. I like that a lot. And then down in the basement, oh, what do we have here? We have a little record player. Is that maybe SP or LP? I don't think I've ever used it in my build, so I'm kind of thinking that it probably is. It's got two of these bikes, and these bikes were a prize from the Seniors Quest, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong on that down in the comments. I'm pretty sure that was the limited time prize from the Seniors Quest. So quite a nice little house, but nothing massively in it. That, well, I suppose there is. There's, yeah, there's quite a few items in all fairness. It is quite expensive, though, at 85 LPs. Moving on to the third LP house. Now this house is 299 LPs on a standard size lot and this has three three floors. And let's take a little look. This looks like it could be, it's expensive at 299. So it's not something that I'm going to be able to afford to build. As you can see, I've only got 101 LPs at the moment, but it's got two of these Moroccan lamps there, LPs. I'm pretty sure this is quite a nice style of house. I like this. It's got the fondue set, if you watch my other Architect Homes little review and walkthrough. You know that I am amazed that these houses have got this fondue set in. That fondue set is worth 150 SPs and so many of the Simoleon houses have got the fondue set in. So definitely check those out. This is a nice little kitchen area. I like this house a lot actually. It's got that retro TV, record player, orange, um, uh, what are they called? Social point table. Ooh. I don't think I've ever seen this chest here before. Is it part of the cottage collection? That's nice. I've never seen that before. Nothing else particularly. Let's go and have a little look on the upstairs. Oh, it's got these lamps. I love these lamps. Is they something like seven, seven LP, something like that? I really want them in my town, but I just can never, I just can't justify buying them. I need to do it. Definitely need to do it. I love those bendy lamps. 
Love them. Oh, it's got a fish tank there. It's got a bar, which is a couple of LPs. Some of these stools. Oh, another one of those lamps. It's got a few little... I think this is a nice house. So what did we have? Is it like an apart? I think it maybe is an apartment. Because this is like all self-contained something down here. And then, yeah, I think it is. It's apartments. This is nice. And then on the last floor, was that the last floor? Yeah, last floor. We've got an orange table again. A couple of these red table and chairs. More of these lamps. Or oh, another one of these lamps. I like this room. Look at this room. I can just put the roof up on that. That's nice. Like the kitchen circling all the way around and windows everywhere. I like that look. I mean, there's a few items in here that you could... Oh, are these Latin... I feel like they could be Latin Villa recliners or something, or I've, I've not seen those recliners before. So they're from something that I don't know about. <laughs> That's nice, but it's not worth 299 LPs, in my opinion. Although it has got that, mm, I don't know, it's, it's just, it is a lot of money, 299 LPs, isn't it? But there is some good things in the house. And then the last standard sized house in the Architect Homes is this SP one for 105 SP. And this is two floors with a basement. So let's take a little look. This looks like it's got quite a lot of things in. It's got the retro TV. As I told you, all of the houses have got this retro TV. Some of the orange lounge furniture there. Oh, and some of the blue furniture as well. Oh, this has got quite a lot in actually. It's got the table and check the stools and the, um, you know what I mean, the red stuff there. It's got a lot. It's got a hot tub. This is, this is a really nice house. I really like this house a lot. How do we get downstairs? Oh, there's some stairs here. Go down. Oh, this is nice. And it's got, oh, it's got a bedroom down here. It's got one of these. They're worth a few LP, are they? I'm not sure, but they're worth something. <laughs> and let's go up to the top floor. Kids' bedroom up here. This is a cute house, I really like it. Maybe worth building for some of you. So I've moved over to the premium lots now and there's just these two premium houses, the 70 SP and the 85 SP. As you can see, that house that we've just looked at that was, was 105, to build it on a premium lot is 120 SP, which is what I was talking about before. There's no need to build that house on a premium lot because it doesn't, well, like I say, unless you want to add on a pool or something else, whatever, but there's no need to, so build them on the smaller standard size if you can. Let's take a look at the last two houses. So this house is 70 SP. Like I said, it's on a premium lot and it is a bungalow. Ooh, let's see what's going on with this house. This looks interesting. Fish tank in this one. Lots of the gold orange furniture. It's got the bathroom there and the bedroom. Another, another kind of sofa area, lounge area over here with so much of this orange stuff. Wow. All of the green stuff in here. Oh, it's got a fondue set. Loads more of the green stuff. It's got this retro TV. Wowzers. It's got a lot. What's going on out the back? Oh, it's got two of these. The um, champagne popper thingies. Oh, I haven't got them in my town. I would like them. But as you can see, I only have 23 SP. Hmm. I might have to work on trying to get some SP to build this house. We'll see. The thing is, I've mentioned it in every time I do a video on these architect homes, is that I want to count down on these homes, like to say when they're going, when they're going to change. Because it seems to be quite regular, and honestly, that maybe every sort of three weeks, even maybe even less than that. I'll have to check when my last videos, my last architect homes videos came out. But they changed them up quite soon and I would like to have a countdown on the thing to tell us when these houses are going and when we'll be getting new ones. So just so we know how long we've got to be able to build them. But back to this house, down at the bottom of the garden, with the Paddington Peas, we've got kind of like a little chill out area, music area, with a lot of these stools. I like this and some of the purple lounge furniture. That's quite nice. Quite a nice build, that, for 70 SP if you have got a few SPs floating around. The last home is this one for 85 SP. Again, premium lot, is it? No, it's not a bungalow, it's a two floor house. Let's take a look at what it has got. So it's got these 
fountain planter things. Are they five LP or SP each? I can't remember. I think it might be SP. Five SP each. Through the door here, what have we got? Um, bedrooms, nothing, nothing that limited as of yet. Huge big kitchen back here. Let's go upstairs, see what's going on. There doesn't seem to be that much. Little makeout room here, I love that. <laughs> Look at that all with the hearts on the floor and the roses and things in the makeout couch. <laughs> That's excellent. Um, it hasn't got anything. It's got two of these retro TVs. It's got some of each of the stalls. It's got a bar. Nothing, nothing that particularly limited or that particularly uh, kind of interesting in that house. But it's a nice build nonetheless. It's got loads of these nice flowers. I love them. A yeah, nice build, but nothing particularly limited inside it. So there you go, guys. That completes a tour of our six LP and SP houses that we got this time with our new architect homes. I think that I'm definitely more impressed with the Simoleon houses than the SP and the LP ones. But let me know down in the comments, what do you think about these? Are you going to be building any of them? Are you still submitting your designs into Sims Free Play? I haven't submitted one for quite a while. In fact, I haven't built a new house for quite a while. I need to get my building hat on and but maybe build a new house to submit to them. I so want one of them to be featured. I'd be so it'd be so awesome if I was like wait, went to sit down and make one of these videos and I was like, oh my goodness, there's my house. That'd be so awesome. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. Go ahead and thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys soon for a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.